we're using a common anode. I've got this labeled right up here so we know where the different lights are. Um, with a common anode, zero is on and one is off. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do is write down our birthday. I want you to create your notes, your truth table with your birthday. None of you have the same birthday as me if you're in my class, I hope. How many switches are we gonna need to display your birthday? That's right, you'll need three switches. So now let's go ahead and set up the truth table. In the least common binary, we're gonna do every other. Then we're gonna double that, and then we're gonna double that one. I would do this on an even numbered page where you have the vertical and the horizontal lines. Also, you might need to even turn your notebook sideways so that you have enough space. Next thing I encourage you to do is to put your birthday as if it's gonna display on a seven segment display. So now you can see my birthday is 02-21-82. Now we wanna focus on our truth table and creating a column only for the A lights. I'm gonna try and do some color coordinating if you can see this with the video or not. Uh, so I'm gonna do the A light, which is this one right up here. Since we're using zero is our on with a common anode, so for column A right here, we're gonna put a zero where the light is turned on. And we are only concentrating on this very top light because this very top light is light A on our seven segment display. So it is on here, so we put a zero. On this two, it is on right up here, so we put a zero. It is off where the dash is because there's no line needed up there, light A, so we put a one. We do, uh, my birthday has a two here, so I put a zero because the light is on. My birthday date is a one here, so I don't need light A, so I put a zero. At the dash, I do not need A light on, so I put a one. Then my last two numbers are eight and two. So with an eight, A light is on, I put a zero. And then two is on, so uh, we put a zero. So a lot of you guys are gonna have like, uh, maybe the year 2000. So light A will be on, um, or like 01, 02, so the light will be on in this segment there. If, uh, if you're 02, it'll be also on there. So now I wanna look where my ones are, write down a product of sums for light A. So now I have my unsimplified over there. I can use K-mapping or Boolean algebra to simplify this one. So, since I'm looking where my ones are, I notice here that there's nothing next to, no other ones next to or around this one. However, these right here can be grouped together. And so this simplifies and this one stays the same. So simplified looks like this. So we can see that this does simplify into here. You can again use Boolean or you can use a K-map if you're a visual learner. So now we know what A is. I'm running out of whiteboard space and I need to then do B. We're gonna look at light B and go through the same process as light A. Unfortunately, we notice that A and B are different, so we're gonna have a different unsimplified product of sums, which means after we do the unsimplified, hopefully we can K-map it or use Boolean and get it a little bit simpler. Nice thing for me is my B light simplifies pretty easily. Now the next thing we'll do is C. Unfortunately, C does not match A or B, so now I've got to, so I've got to write the unsimplified product of sums and then hopefully it'll simplify. All right, it just barely fits there. I've got quick check. I've got five ones. I've got five groups here. Just as a reminder, um, when you have a not X, a not Y, and a Z, that means you have a zero. So it's not on, it's also not on here and it's on here, there's a one right here. So whenever we have a one, that means it is on. Whenever we have an off here, that means we put a line over it and it's inverted and it's turned off. Now it's time to see if this can simplify. So this is pretty cool, I've got four in a row. So even though we have a whole bunch of ones here, we've got this big, ugly formula here it actually does simplify fairly nicely to just Z 
or not xy. Now we have to do d. Okay, so before I start simplifying d, hopefully I'm gonna pause and notice that a and d are the exact same order from zero, 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 down to one, one, one. That means I can totally simplify this and say that d is the same thing as a. So when I draw this on multisim or when I draw this in my notebook, I can just use that exact same drawing or this exact same circuit. I can connect wires from that circuit to A, and then I can also, since it's the same output as D, I can connect wires to that same circuit. Hopefully, you have some lights that are in the exact same order like that, maybe even more. Next, you're gonna do E, F, and G. Good luck. Okay, I've got my truth table all done. I've got my A through G all simplified. I wanna point out that my D and my E are the exact same thing as my A, so I'm just gonna set D and E equal to A. Hopefully you guys have some that are also the same. Good job, once you have this all done, this is a good time to trade your notebook with a friend, have them check your work and you check their work. It's also a good time to have your teacher check your notebook and earn some credit where credit's due, and you know what? Get a drink of water. Good job.